According to a new national survey by the American Red Cross, many people overestimate their ability to react to a home fire. And because of this, they miss critical life-saving steps that could keep their loved ones safe. 40% of people believe they're more likely to win the lottery or get struck by lightning than to experience a home fire. Yet home fires are the most common disaster people face in this country. And every day, seven people die from a home fire and another 36 are hurt. Joining us now live from Washington, D.C., is American Red Cross President and CEO Gail McGovern. Good morning to you, Gail. The Red Cross just released these results. Pretty eye-opening. What, what have you learned besides that? Well, you're absolutely right. It is eye-opening. And we learned that people really don't have a plan or a strategy as to what they would do if there were a fa fire in their home. And most people don't know that they only have two minutes to get out of the house. And these home fires, as you said, are a lot more common than people think. We respond to 64,000 disasters every year, and the vast majority of them are home fires. And the amount of death and injury that is happening across the country, it's heartbreaking. And we're on the ground and we see it because we're providing these families with comfort and hope. And we have a full court press and trying to reduce the death and injury. In fact, since October 14th, we have installed 1.1 million smoke alarms for free all around the country. And we're really um, focusing on this because these are needless deaths and injuries. It's such a great campaign. It's called Sound the Alarm Event. And in 16 days, coming up soon here, you're going to try to install, you are going to install 100,000 free smoke alarms. What cities are you doing that in? How is this happening? We're in a hundred different cities. They're all available if you go onto our website. We are galvanizing 28,000 volunteers to be able to do this. And as you said, 100,000 smoke alarms. And we go from door to door in these cities and we carry a stepladder and a drill and lots of free smoke alarms and we will install them on the spot. If the family has smoke alarms, we check the batteries. If the batteries are working, then we sit down with every family and we take them through an evacuation plan. How will you get out? Where will you meet up with your family? And then how to avoid a, a home fire in the future. So what should you do with your family at home now? Everybody watching this now, I'm thinking about, well, we're totally unprepared. What do we need to do? Well, there are two things that make all the difference in the world. The first is to have an evacuation plan. Figure out how you're going to get out of the house with your entire family in two minutes or less. That's, that's thing one. And thing number two is make sure your smoke alarms are in working order and that you have them installed on every floor of your home because those smoke alarms reduce death by half, make a big difference. Where can people go to find out more information about the Sound the Alarm campaign, Gail? Uh, they can go to soundthealarm.org and they can volunteer if they would like to. Um, they can give a financial donation if they would like to help us pay for the free smoke alarms. And they can learn a lot about safety tips in the event of a, of a home fire. Sounds great. Gail, thank you and best of luck to you all as you deploy 100,000 free alarms.